Hi everyone. Hi. Today we are back at our favorite things, March favorite things. We really love filming these um, videos. They're kind Indeed. of fun, planning what we're going to talk about <laughs> and everything. So, Erica. Yeah, we got, was it wasn't a month ago that first. we filmed yep. this. Okay. Well, it's the end of March. I am up first. Yeah. Well, my first one is going to be. This has been like this year. Ongoing. <laughs> it's been an ongoing thing, but I have been having boiled eggs, like fresh soft boiled eggs with this mingle, whoops, we forgot the bagel seasoning, which is like sesame seeds, um, black sesame seeds, garlic. garlic, salt. It's really, really delicious and it adds a really nice flavor. And in the Thermomix, there's like a boiled egg function and I just do medium um, and it takes like 10 minutes, minutes or something and you just you can put your eggs in out of the fridge water out of the tap set it and it dings when it's ready you don't have to watch it or anything peel them straight away cut them in half sprinkle with this you could have them on toast or just by themselves and they are really yummy I, i've barely had a fried egg this year because i'm obsessed with boiled eggs and this seasoning <laughs> all right my first one it's another Costco, sorry guys. <laughs> um, if, if, there's, oh, if there's a month where we do it without something from Costco, be unlikely. Be so this is olive oil body wash. I'm not sure it's not really focusing, but it, it comes in a two pack. So this is a one that we haven't used yet, but I'm nearly through the first one. I've been using it for most of this year. Um, it feels really nice mm, on your does. skin. Silky, and, kind of, I guess, yeah, like olive oil. And um, kind of creamy or something. Mm. Um, and I really like it because I like body wash and Erica generally prefers I'm a regular soap. Gal. soap. Um, so I just like the feel of it really is the reason that I like it. But you can get it at Costco. I'm not sure if you can get it in other places. You probably can. Um, but we got a two pack of this and it's probably going to last quite a, a while. Lifetime. Yeah. Also, I think it's, um, scented with essential oils as well. Let me check. Tangerine oil. Yeah. So not with a synthetic fragrance, which we really just prefer because I, I'm quite sensitive to artificial fragrances. So nice to see an Australian product and they're really like two big bottles. Yeah. That, it'll last <laughs> quite a while. I think we even got them before Christmas. <laughs> okay, my second one is this. This is a game changer. Cleaning. I think it's called a Euro scrubber. I tried to Google it before. When we're staying at Mum and Dad's, they had this in their kitchen sink for washing up. And I was like, Mum, what is this thing? And where did you get it from? Because it is really awesome. And we she bought it from Pillow Talk. So we went there and grabbed a couple. Um, and it's actually made of really hard cotton, the lady was telling me. So it's not plastic, which is good for the environment. And she said it will last about three years and then it will just like degrade um, because it's cotton, not plastic. Right? You know, those green and yellow ones you normally use. Mm -hmm. But it's really good. It doesn't scratch anything, but it's pretty tough at getting off, you know, baked on things. And it doesn't seem like... The food really sticks in there yeah. a lot. It's quite easy to get it off. Um, yeah, and I just love how it's kind of colourful and fun. I don't know why this something? is your favourite thing because I'm the person <laughs> who does the washing up. I love this thing. It is so good at getting things off, but it also really it's does gentle. not hold a lot of food in it. Yeah. I use those... I don't know what the scotch brights or whatever yeah. the green and yellow things and like after a couple of weeks they're completely like useless mm -hmm. and you chuck them out you can even throw this in the dishwasher apparently yeah, you if you need to clean it um, honestly the lady at pillow talk was she very was, informative and about they it. weren't expensive they were like five bucks six for dollars. two or something yeah anyway each i bought two one for the laundry and one yeah for this is the clean yeah. one yeah don't worry we're not waving around <laughs> our dirty dish but yeah i mean i looked online and you could get them at other places but um yeah definitely check them out because 
game changer for washing up. My next one is footy season is back. AFL, I, I really enjoy watching the AFL. I've been watching it. Um, we had Erica's dad over on Saturday night to watch the Swans. He really likes watching the Swans, but he finds it kind of hard to focus and stuff. So I think it was quite good having him over. But my actual thing is AFL Super Coach. It's really made me interested in all of the games and not just your team my team yeah. and the swans and watching their game i mean i don't watch any other games but i follow them and i see who scores points and whatnot i'm just learning because i'm used to play it oh when it first came out when i read read the daily telegraph back the in the nrl like, though you used to i did play. both oh, i did okay. both um but that would have been like 12 or 14 years ago like a long time ago that i, I used to play a lot of players in the afl how yeah. do you keep a track of them all we only keep a track of the good ones i only keep a track of the ones in my team yeah but you need to know them all nah. to choose your team no no anyway lots of hours been spent super coaching <laughs> okay my third one is a bit of a love slash hate relationship Dan does Dan's like I know what it is now <laughs> it's the bike so in the end of February um I had an exercise I could board an exercise bike and it was delivered the end of February and I've been doing 20 minutes every day uh have I done it every day you missed one when we weren't here I think you only missed one yeah, we, when we were away and then when I went to the gym, I was like, okay, I don't have to do the exercise bike as well. <laughs> um, but I've had some problems with my ankles over the last kind of... Six months? Yeah, six to 12 months and I've been going to the physio. And I was going to the Newcastle Ocean Baths and kind of running in the soft sand in the water. And that really helped. Um, but unfortunately... It's closed now. It's closed for renovations for 18 months, but also coming into winter i was like well this isn't really sustainable long term i'm not going to be in the water in winter so i asked the physio about what would be kind of give me the same action and he said an exercise bike and you have reported that your ankles have yes felt today they've been more really good, good days than bad days whereas yes before the ocean baths and the bike mm. It was more bad days than good days. Unfortunately, I still have days where they're really painful for no apparent reason, not based on the movement I did the day before or I can't seem to pin it down to something particular. Mm -hmm. I'm eating or anything. It's just really frustrating. They're really good today. But having the exercise bike here, I just do 20 minutes every day. That's my commitment to myself. Um, just makes it like I literally cannot come up with an excuse not to do it. <laughs> Because it's if here, it's raining. like it's like for, if it's raining, okay, I can't go for a walk. I can't, you know, I can't go out or whatever. And then, like, if you have to go somewhere to exercise, there's that added element of don't have time. Like, and I'm here, like I work from home, so yes, I have been. You know, I don't wouldn't say that I enjoy it, but I think it is really helping. Like, also my fitness in general, but also my ankles. So yes, Hello, my exercise bike. My last one, Erica's not going to be happy with. She doesn't know what it is. No. But it's like one of her favourite things that I'm stealing. <gasps> what are you taking? I have really, really, really been enjoying Armchair Expert podcast. I found it Do from you know Erica. How she... long I was listening to that podcast <laughs> and raving to Dan about it. I cannot take on another podcast. You know, she's got all her podcasts that are the best podcasts. I was like, honestly, it's so funny. They have awesome people on it, and you grow to love like Monica Dax and Dax and hearing all their stories and everything. Oh, now she's like number one fan. You know, buying the merch. On the... I am not, <laughs> but. I have been reserving them for when I'm running and it's probably not a good idea because I am literally laughing out loud <laughs> sometimes. At, like today, they were talking about mice, the mice, <laughs> and I was laughing out loud. I couldn't like control myself and I'm trying to run, which is also a struggle. So um, I it love is, that podcast. If you podcast. are after a podcast that is fun because we listen to a lot that are 
serious and motivational yeah. and helpful and blah, blah, blah. personal development and yeah. if you're after one that you can just enjoy some have, of them are quite long yeah. but i really like them so they have different types of episodes as well so they have like famous people like because they're both in the entertainment industry so they have like matt damon big name people prince harry they've had barack uh, obama yeah. bill gates so they have all those and then they have like kind of experts so they have like really intelligent people Renee who Brown. on like specific areas of study that you've never heard of Some like, of them wow this is so interesting like yeah. hearing what this person's got to say and then they do um armchair and dangerous which mm -hmm. is like conspiracy theories and stuff which is also very funny but it's almost just their relationship between like they have a part of the end where it's just them talking and that's kind of probably the favorite part because you hear all the stories but yeah. yes it is a very good podcast and i cannot believe you stole <laughs> i stole it, it. <laughs> so that is our favorite things for march i can't believe we're at the end of march already as we did in february if you have something that you have been enjoying in march pop it in the comments below it's really good to just kind of share it doesn't have to be anything in particular Especially new podcast it also about new podcast yeah it also doesn't have to be something like new to you no um but something that you've been loving this month yes. pop it in the just in the comments below hopefully you have enjoyed this video if you have please give it a thumbs up make sure you are subscribed and thank you so much for watching bye, bye.